Good day, everyone. Today is a day that fathers all across the world are recognized for their role in bringing upon life to a child and raising them to the best of their abilities. But to be frank, I don't care about any of those fathers. I don't care about the Barack Obamas and Russell Wilsons of the world. I don't care about the people who are seemingly the best fathers on earth. Today, the only person I care about celebrating is my own father, William Young. Now, I could go on and give the cliche speech about how my dad is more than just a father, how he's my superhero, my best friend. But to be honest, he's none of those things. He's no superhero, and he's certainly not my best friend. He's just my father. And what exactly is so wrong about that? According to the U.S. Census Bureau, one in four children live without a biological step or adoptive father in their home. That's 18.4 million children living without a father figure. With that stat alone, knowing my father has been there for me since day one makes me more than thankful for everything he's done. So why should a father have to be more than exactly that? When looking at my father nowadays, there are a few things I notice. First off, he's old. His head is approaching baldness each and every day. He's stubborn and hard-headed, and even worse, he's a Cowboys fan. Now you may be wondering, when is the butt coming in? When am I going to flip the script and say all the good things he's done for me, all the positives? Well, it's not coming. Now, obviously, it's not because he doesn't have great qualities, and it's not because he was a bad father, because he was neither of those things. That's just how our relationship is. It's not a dreadful one, and it's not one that lacks affection, but it's not one that sticks out either. And that's the way both of us like it. A father and son who use sarcasm all the time, who mess with each other constantly. A duo who when we say meaningful things to each other, we brush it off with a joke or laugh at the awkwardness it creates. But deep inside, we know that the love and support we have for each other are irreplaceable. Now as the speech comes to a close, I'm sure that a few of you may come away from this thinking my dad is not the best father figure. And if that's the case, make sure you tell him if you ever see him. I'm sure he'd really appreciate hearing your opinion. <laughs> but despite my best efforts to point out some of his flaws and make this speech one that appeals to his humorous side rather than emotional one, I can confidently say that I have the best father in the world. But dad, don't let that go to your head. Thank you all for listening and happy Father's Day.